Okay, here it goes. It arrived. A Polish saber made by Indrich Figura from Czech Republic. I hope that I pronounced your name right. This is a Polish saber. It's made for sparring, so it's blunt. It's made for technical sparring, so it doesn't confirm with the official health and safety regulations for the UK reenactment scene, i.e. 3mm edge, which I think is going a little bit over the top. It's a little bit more pointy than standard reenactment swords, <coughs> but uh, me and my group, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, now it came with a scabbard, it fits very really nicely. As you can see, no problems whatsoever. It's covered in black leather. Also the grip is covered in leather. There is also a little bit uh, personal uh, mark on it. It's a Silesian Eagle, because I'm from Lower Silesia, Wrocław originally, Poland. So it comes out of a scabbard, nice, nice and smooth. It's got two, two grooves. It's got a good curvature for the polished saber. It doesn't have a, um, a thumb ring, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But uh, today I just wanted to uh, to show you how it how it moves. It feels really really nice in hand. Um, I'll put uh, a weight of saber in the description very well made no problems whatsoever um, you can see that uh, Indrich is professional in what he does um, he made it nice and light a little bit lighter than uh, later Hussar sabers but there was a reason about it. in that all I wanted to show you is uh, how the saber moves I'll throw a, little, a few cuts on this uh, on this old uh, camping mat which happens to be my new training bag. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. That was a Polish saber, Polish training saber, made by Indrich Figura from Czech Republic. I will post more of the videos when we get back into the sparring hall. Thanks for watching.